Bismillah rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Ustad Amina Blake with you. And actually, I wanted to talk to you today for a few minutes about this wonderful, amazing individual, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and why I feel so passionately about him. First of all, let's look into the Quran, into the Book of Allah, the Book of God. In uh, chapter 21, he is described as Rahmatan lil alameen, which means a mercy to all of mankind. And indeed, when we look for the next few minutes into some of the incidents in the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we will see how his exemplary character always showed mercy to other people even to people who were wanting to harm him and to fight against him and to even murder and destroy him. Because guess what? Character is something that affects everything in our lives. The first thing we look at when we look at an individual, when we see their face, when they speak, is we make a judgment on their character. So character is so incredibly important. There was an incident in the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, where a man on a camel came to the mosque. And this guy, this man, he is um, a Bedouin, which is um, a tribal person who lives out in the deserts of Arabia. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his companions were there sitting in a group in the mosque, presumably talking about Islam, or maybe he was teaching them, or maybe he was, he was having some kind of uh, collective moment with his companions. And so this, this man, he walks into the mosque and he walks in with kind of a bit of attitude, a bit, uh, a bit aggressive. And he said, which one of you is Muhammad? Which one of you is Muhammad? And he didn't know who the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was because the Prophet Muhammad did not sit on a throne. He did not sit above the people and he didn't dress any differently from his companions. He was sitting with them. This is an indicator of how humble the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was. And so the Prophet spoke up and he said, I am here to answer your questions. So the man said to him, the Bedouin said to him, I'm going to ask you some things and I'm going to be harsh. I'm going to be harsh with you when I ask you these questions. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was very soft and very gentle in the way he responded. And he said, ask what you like, ask what you like. He was not gonna get angry, of course. So the man asked the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about Islam. And the Prophet told him about the Messenger of Allah. And he told him that Muslims should pray five times a day and that should we should fast in the month of Ramadan and that we should pay zakat, pay a charity tax from the rich to the poor people. And because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had not just spoken in a sensible and logical way, but also because he had responded in a way that had mercy and respect and dignity, even though the man was quite harsh and almost on the verge of being rude with him, he said, I believe in all you've been sent with. I was sent by my people as a messenger. I am from Bani Sa'ad bin Bakr tribe. So he was one of the tribal representatives sent to find out who is this Prophet Muhammad? What is he all about? And then, of course, he went back and told his tribe about Islam and the whole of the tribe became Muslim. How amazing is this? There are so many incidents in the life of the beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, where he showed mercy. So, for example, in the incident when he was doing what's called Hijrah, which is where he migrated from Mecca to Medina because he was persecuted and his enemies in Mecca, even some of whom were his family members, were plotting to kill him and they had been torturing him and torturing his companions for years. But the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was somebody who was trusted even by his enemies, even by the people who hated Islam. So when he left to go from Mecca to travel to the city of Medina, 
he left a family relative, Ali. He left Ali in charge of the items that had been given to the Prophet to look after by some of the community and by some of his enemies in Mecca. And he left Ali sleeping in his own bed in order that when he left, Ali would return the trusts, the items, the gold, the money, the jewels that had been left with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a trust. He did not have to do this. He treated even prisoners of war with such beautiful mercy that he ordered the, uh, the tribes to treat the prisoners of war as they would like their own families and that they would get fed and looked after even better than the Muslims. And this is why Allah calls Prophet peace be upon him. Rahmatullahi wa 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 rahmatull